Let's bring in Jamie Bittner next. She's standing a little bit closer, so she gets to warm up. Uh, we could try. I don't think we can all get him in the same shot. Jamie Bittner, when we've talked about how unafraid you are when you get the ball, you have no problem just saying, I'll go. I'll be the one. Not at all. Uh, take me through the goal in the first half. Um, I just saw my opportunity, and when I see it and I'm feeling it, I just decide to go full steam ahead. And I well, mean, we could tell you were feeling it. <laughs> <laughs> from the fifth floor, Mustang Stadium, we could see it yeah. in your eyes from there. Yeah. So, no doubt about that, uh, Jamie. There was also a time in the second half where you just sort of stayed on the field offensively. That that you didn't, it wasn't even just a case of going to the goal. You just stayed out there and ran with the offense. Can you tell me about that? And is that going to be something we're going to be seeing you do more and more this season? Yeah, we've been talking recently within the uh, the past week that some of our defenders that are capable of taking the ball over you know Sarah Gabby um, Danielle are fully, we're fully confident in them going over on attack and knowing the plays so I know in that transition Mallory asked me you know hey I need a break can you go and I'm I have her back so yeah. there you go well, there and you a go. Job well done when you got there <laughs> yeah. right no question about that so we feel like the defense is the strong end of the field mm -hmm. just because there was a lot of personnel loss on the attacking end you had your hands full today, however, down on the defensive end, particularly with number five, yep. Shay. Yep. So she got seven goals. Mm -hmm. What do you think needs to change to not let that happen again? I think our adjustment during the course of the game needs to be addressed. I know it was sometime in the second half, I said, hey, you know, if we can hand off to each other number five, I'll take her. But we have to be smart about it. And, you know, sometimes it happened, sometimes it didn't. Great. We had her addressed, you know, that she was a dominant player. But we need to adjust earlier and have a better game plan ahead of time in order to be successful with that. Jamie, all that being said, to finally get one in the wing column today uh, after some of the heartbreak that you suffered at the beginning of the season. And in a day where, you know, you blew a four-goal lead, it would have been easy to sort of feel sorry for yourself and sulk off the field. How important is this as you head out on the road just to get that positive feeling of a win? It, it's very important. This game is our momentum change. We're coming at the teams that we have ahead on our schedule. And I said to the girls on our way out, our way back into the locker room, this is the start of our streak. Yeah. Like, we, we showed teams what we're capable of that we're capable of coming from you know being ahead to being down and coming back ahead and squeaking it out at the end where we're willing to claw our way through all game jamie bittner congratulations on the goal and the win and we'll see when you guys get back awesome thank you guys she is jamie bittner